See a need, fill a need. That's exactly what one Memphis man is doing with a book. After a year of uncertainty, Memphis educator Brennan Steele needed an outlet to breathe. And now he's creating a community allowing other black men to do the same. In a year of drastic change, 2020 hit with a lot of different circumstances. Brennan Steele needed a new way to cope. You had the pandemic, um, you had all of the racial unrest, you had the murder specifically of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, the list goes on throughout the summer. Uh, and it was just all hitting at once. Dealing with change, grief, or anger is tough. For Steele, finding a healthy way to release was almost just as hard. I just needed something to just um, drop my own thoughts and feelings down. And everything I saw, like there were a couple of books in the market for black men, but most of the things were for um, dominant culture or for, for white men. They were talking about things I couldn't relate to. So Steele wrote his own self-care journal to help and heal. And I pray when after it published that it would it would touch people. Um, and I had a dream that it might reach a thousand people, <laughs> but it, it's reached thousands. Yo. Black men need therapy too. Now, local therapists, educators, and social workers are using this tool online and in their own lives. It's been cool just to bring everybody who supported together, uh, but also uh, shed a light on how this is just one piece of the puzzle. Really, like, develop and build up strong black men. Creating a bigger conversation for black men to speak up, seek help, and breathe.